doing out there? This is Pete, my friend Pete, your friend Pete. And uh, kind of blew some steam off yesterday. I kind of got a little bit loud. Got a little bit crazy, got a little bit stupid, you know, but uh, that's life, okay? Everybody does it, and there's nothing I can say about it. Uh, I've been really considering to stop making videos on YouTube, and for reasons that uh, aren't just because of people that thumbs down me. I really don't care about thumbs, okay? That really doesn't bother me. The point I was trying to make about the one thumbs guyer was not that it irritated me and pissed me off and upset me. It's but that this guy is obsessed with getting on the computer daily to do something so stupid and fucking idiotic as to go on the computer just so he can put one thumbs down. That shows you what kind of life this person leads, okay? Or the person that asks for my advice and I walk him through the whole steps and procedures and then he turns around and he says, loudmouth asshole loser, fuck face, screwed me around. It's his fault I fucked my car up. But that's just one person or two persons or three persons or ten persons, okay? I have close to four million views on my videos. And I got a lot of followers and subscribers. I got people that follow me that aren't subscribed to me. Okay? Okay, I'm not trying to be on YouTube and be an attention whore like some people do. Okay, I don't walk around with the camera going like this and, you know, just jibber jabbering and talking. Okay? I try to teach you something. And what I'm trying to teach you is life. It ain't got jack fuck to do with cars. Okay? It's about a guy and his small business. Alright? It's about a guy that lost his dog. It's about a guy that's married, okay? It's about a guy that raised two kids. It's about a guy trying to survive in the world. Why are we here? I don't fucking know. I don't know why you're here. I don't know why I'm here, okay? I don't have answers to everything in the world just like you don't. But the motivation that keeps me going and putting videos on, because like I said in my other video, Okay, I am losing money making videos because it takes so long to make videos. To make a video, uh, this type of video that I'm making here, and I want to make this short, okay, I don't want to drag this out for 15 minutes, okay. This type of video takes about 10 minutes, 15 minutes, okay. The DIY, DIY videos and the uh, SWR and C videos that I make, okay, the, especially the ones with the music in them and the effects, and the cutting and the splicing, those take two to three hours to make a fucking video. Okay? I'm not really into, uh, oh wow, YouTube said I can put 15 minutes up. I want to make a 15 minute video now. However the fuck long they are, that's how long they're going to be. If it's five or six minutes, that's it. If it's ten minutes and I get my point across, then that's what it's going to be. I don't care about putting 15 minute or 30 minute or two hour videos up. Okay, but now we're getting off, all right? Let me, let me show you something here. These are, and I don't do this, okay? This is actually the first time I've done this. These are some letters. These are just three of them that I printed out. Okay, uh, I keep all the letters, okay, that I get that from people that tell me thank you. I keep them all uh, because I like to go back and read them, okay? Because, see, you say, you people out there say that I help you a lot. Well, you know, you thanking me helps me a lot. And I don't want to get too emotional here because I'm kind of an emotional guy. But uh, this one here is from a guy named Mike. Lives in Kentucky. It says, I love your videos, Pete. They are, I'm going to go ahead and just say, I'm just going to say it because I'm that type of guy. They are fucking great. Awesome, I mean. You've inspired me to go after my dream restoring hot rods. I know you probably get this all the time, but you've really opened my eyes. It's going to take a lot of work and dedication to learn the trade, but I'm willing to do it. Thanks a lot, Mike. Okay. That's just a short little letter, all right? 
see what I'm saying? But it's a letter that's telling me I helped this guy out. I've accomplished what I need to do, okay? All right, here's a letter. It's kind of a long letter, so we're just going to kind of break it up here. Okay, uh, this one here is from a guy named Dan Semper Fucking Fi. Okay, get him some is what I say. Okay, that's what my, my son's in the Navy. He says that's what Marines say. I don't, he says get him some. Okay, that's the new thing instead of Semper Fi. I don't fucking know. I don't care. Okay, thumbs up for all the Marines and the Navy boys out there. Thank you very much. I wouldn't be making these videos if it wasn't for you, the armed forces of the United States of America. So, anyway, we get off the letter. Okay, uh, it says here, I love the videos you make, and even though I've been in the trade for almost 20 years, I learned a great deal from them. My dad always said, if you're not willing to learn, pack it up and go home. I just wanted to let you know You've made a difference in my world. Learned a lot from you and what you do. I hope you're blowing off steam. Okay. I have a project I've been dragging out for two years. A 77 Dodge Ram Charger. I went from being a Tinker Toyer, okay? I think I made a video about Tinker Toyers, all right? To actually getting shit done. And then he goes on about the money thing, uh, making me broke, that's the main issue, blah, 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 okay? And then he says, oh, fuck it, I fab my own shit, why? Because my friend Pete says, don't be a tinker toyer. There's another guy. Okay, this one here is from Matt in Somerset, Kentucky. I found your videos on YouTube. I used to work in a body shop. After three years of painting, after three years of painting, the guy I worked for died and I quit altogether. Started truck driving. I started watching your videos and became interested in them. The reason I'm emailing you is I watched the video of the water leak and electric problem. Gee, water leak. That ain't got nothing to do with fucking paint and body. And I have to say, I watched the video, I could feel your emotion through the video. I've had my share of hard times, and I commend you for showing the world the cold, hard facts of life, of the business, and just how things can be sometimes. I have to say, I may not work in a body shop anymore. I enjoy the honest, hardworking humor, tips of the trade, and good and bad of your videos. Keep up the good work. Something you said in a video that will stick with me is don't look back and wish you had done something different with your life. I tend to do that from time to time. Thanks again. Man. I'm not going to quit making videos. I was never going to quit making videos. Okay? I just decided to get pissed off and do it on fucking camera instead of ranting and raving around here, okay? I don't really call it ranting and raving, I call it upset. I call it emotional. I call it uh, having enough of the same old fucking bullshit day in and day out. Does my friend Pete have a lot of friends? I'm gonna tell you how many fucking friends I got because this is where it's gonna end on this video. Right here. How many is there? How many, what, what we got? What? One, two, three, four. I got four friends, okay? Well, I got my wife and my loving kids, but, you know, they'll always be my friends. The point that I'm making here is I'm not crazy, okay, and saying, ooh, golly, golly, he's got an imaginary friend. By God, son of a bitch, shut the fuck up. Oh, this is your old guy, ooh, Wally, wow. Golly jeepers, hey, this is biker dude. That ain't the point I'm making here. The point is, the main friend that I have, includes all four of these fucking guys here, is me, myself, and I. I just happened to add one, see? So I actually have four, all right? Am I crazy? No, I'm not crazy, okay? But the best friend I'll ever fucking have in the whole wide world is me. Me. Okay? just happened to characters 
of me, myself, and I. And if you got that, then you learned something in life. If you didn't, and you think I'm a crazy cocksucker, more fucking power to you. I don't give a shit. We're gonna get uh, Sammy out. Because he just wanted to tell you. This is Sammy Salami, straight out of Miami, loving every fucking minute of it. And if you don't like it, you son of a bitch, go stick it in your own fucking ass, because we don't give one hell of a fuck, you cocksucker son of a bitch. <laughs> See you later. Take it easy. My friend Pete out. Your friend Pete. Everybody's friend Pete. I ain't no arrogant motherfucker, okay? But when I can feel that I'm helping somebody out in life, okay? Makes me feel good. See you later. Take it easy. And my friend Pete's here to stay. I was never leaving. I wasn't gonna quit making videos. That wasn't an option. I like making videos. It's a hobby. It's it's a thing that I do. Okay? Why would I quit making fucking videos? I don't give a fuck about, okay, the haters that you call them, okay? I don't call them haters. I call them jealousers, jealousy people. They're not haters, they're just jealous. They're mad at their self. They're not mad at me. They're mad because they can't get ahead in life. So they hit that fucking red button and say, fuck you. See you later, take it easy. Gotta go. These bastards gotta go to sleep and I gotta go to fucking work. passcode, then press pound. No new messages. You have one saved message. Main menu. To review your messages, press one. Two message. Message received at 8.21 p.m. yesterday from 0114. Hey, Pete, this is uh, Roger Scott. I live in Boswell, Pennsylvania. Hey man, I just saw a video today about you and Bruno. Uh, Bruno passed away a few months ago and I just now saw the video and I just want to give you my condolences and I did write you a letter and I'll be sending it out and, and I just want to say thank you for sharing you and Bruno's lives with, you know, little shits like, like me and, um, uh, I learned a lot from you, and uh, I just want to say fucking thank you, man. Um, if you ever want to give me a call, my phone number is one. There are no more regular messages in your mailbox. And that's what my friend Pete's here for. <laughs>